Welcome to another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about exposure blending again and this tutorial is a little different to the others where I was mainly doing exposure blending to increase dynamic range. In this tutorial I want to show you a more creative approach where I created this photo here which is kind of a surreal scene where I have the sun or the sunset combined with a twilight shot where I have the castle here lit up and the city down below. So this is a scene you wouldn't be able to photograph in one frame like this. And when I was in Heidelberg, I thought I, I want to capture the whole transition from sunset to twilight in one photo. So I'm gonna show you now how to create a photo like this. And for this, let's ho head over to this separate file where I have the processed um, starting material. So what I have here is the sunset photo which is completely processed. So I had several exposures to get the dynamic range for the sun and yeah I did my normal processing here to create a finished photo which could stand on its own feet. So it's a photo which is finished which I could upload to my portfolio. And I have the same here for the twilight scene. So this was taken maybe 45 minutes after sunset. Here you see the city lights and the castle lit up and also some nice glow in the sky. And also this photo is completely processed and could be a finished photo. But what I wanted to do and what I'm gonna show you now is how to combine the two. And the most important thing for this to work is that both images are basically a bit similar in terms of color and in terms of brightness. So if you look at the histogram here, you see that while this twilight scene is naturally a little bit darker, it still has a very even histogram. The same as here with the sun, where I have a mountain here on the left side, then no cutoff dark tones, and then some bright tones here, and it's evenly distributed. And the same is here. I have the mountain on the left side with the dark tones, and then also some bright tones. So both images are very similar. And this is important for the blending I show you to work. And there are many ways to create such scenes, but this, the process I'm showing you now is really just a creative drawing. So there's no fancy masking. It's just deciding which areas from each image I want in the photo. And I certainly want the sun here and the beautiful light on the trees. And from the twilight photo, I want the light here on the castle and also down in the city. So what I do, I just start by using a gradient and really here's no recipe which you can use for every image. So every image is different. The only thing is what I just told you. Try to create similar yeah, brightness in the images and similar tonal values. So I just start by creating a gradient here and I'm going from white to black and this creates the first transition from the twilight scene over to the sunset scene and now as I told you I want the lights from the city completely so I just draw across this area to get in the lights and I can zoom in a bit and go in the background with like 40% and for this to work, it's also very important that you leave your camera still the whole time. So I had my camera on a tripod and didn't move it for more than one hour. So this way I ensure that both images precisely overlap. I was also using a cable release to make sure that I don't have any shift in the exposures here. So now I'm gonna mask out this area a bit to bring back the light on the trees. So I go with like 100% and first draw in the light here. So now I already have this beautiful transition here. And this now, this is still not convincing enough. I mean the result I'm heading for, it will not be 100% convincing. Nobody will believe that 
this is a real scene but I can still try to match the tonal values a bit better so I now draw with like 20% and you remove a little bit of the light so just to have some subtle light on the trees and not this completely bright light from the sun so matching up the two exposures a little bit better and also what I can do if you look at this some nice light here on the castle can also bring back a little bit of that but not too much so just that it looks nice also on the slopes here and maybe in the background so not going for a realistic look but for a look it's just cool and nice to look at and yeah the viewer should when he looks at this have to pause a bit and and think about okay how is this possible so it shouldn't be too obvious that it's kind of a composite or blend but I'm not going for something realistic here what I also like is those few lights here I'll bring them in let's see where the others are because this looks nice there in the shade so it's possible to have them there and maybe down here a little bit so really a creative process and let's here bring back some of the light on the trees and maybe down here just a little bit and yeah I create a bit of the vignette here by just bringing in some of the exposure from the twilight shot here so having like some finish with the tonality we have on this side so this purple magenta and let's see the before and after so this already looks quite nice what I can now do is bring up the curves and also work a little bit more on the photo so now the blend is kind of finished or I could also go in and get a little more detail but I think you got the idea of what it's all about so I now darken the image a bit and I use a gradient and go from black so mostly darkening it on this side and now with a black brush I can work out the details a bit more also bring back a little bit of the light here and then I can darken down here so this is really creative painting and let's go with a photo folder and clip it to the twilight photo and now by this I can adjust the temperature of the twilight photo a bit so to match it a little better against the sunset photo because down here there are, there are a little bit too many blues so by warming up this area a little bit it matches better against the sunset photo so I just draw it in down here in the city so to warm up this area a little bit yeah and yeah this is basically what I wanted to show you so just being creative having two images one for sunset one for twilight and then combining them creatively by simple painting and I'm sure from time to time you'll find such scenes where you just want to be a little more creative and yeah you could even go a little further and wait longer till after twilight till the blue hour but I find this is usually a little too hard to get kind of a convincing result so if you see here this twilight we still had the warm glow in the sky and this matches nicely against the sunset photo so I hope you like this little tutorial here and yeah what I'd now like to hear from you is which version you like the most so I'll now show you each individual photo and also the combined one and yeah you can just leave a comment and tell me which photo you like the most so until next time see you